Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in this week. Welcome to the Cloud Dot Wave Podcast, episode number 44. And look, I don't know what it is about Twitch, but somehow they've gone two episodes in a row without being talked about. They're not the subject of discussion. I don't, I don't know how they're doing it. They're, they're not on the list. I've checked the schedule, and much like Santa Claus, I checked it twice, and Twitch is not on here. So let's give a round of applause for Twitch. <laughs> we did it, boys! Woohoo! Well, you see, what's happening is the globalists are taking down <laughs> all the things that we put up because they know that we're speaking the truth, the true truth, the best truth, the most tasty of truth out here. And they want to silence us with their big tech corporations and their 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 lobbying and their CRT. How dare they silence us? Well, we try to be hold on, hold on, red-blooded hold on, Americans hold on, out hold here. On, hold on, hold on. Let me put on my tinfoil hat, too. The only reason why Jeff Bezos went to space is so he can escape the Clout.Wave podcast. That's right! We're the reasons why that man went out in the orbit. We're the... All right, let, all right I'm not, I'm not going to ham this up. There's enough... To That's right. He right. doesn't want us to reveal the secrets about the GameStop stocks and everything <laughs> behind them and that Amazon made all of that happen themselves. I mean... And that, that Amazon rules everything. I mean, I mean that last part might actually be a fact at this point, but hey, that's right. Oh no, uh, they've gotten me. <laughs> la le lu le lo, la le lu le lo. Hey, I'd rather you say that than you mo go go fight these out. That's a whole different smorgasbord of problems that I don't think either of us want for well, to be honest, anybody involved. But this week has just another slam packed action podcast for you guys coming your way. And no, it's not just me. Oh no, it's not just QYZ. You see, we got the living legends. We got the young goat. We got the man who's telling you about all the secrets in life while rocking a Secret Wars t shirt. We got the one, the only, subtle fraudulence. Talk to him, man. Talk to him. Let him know. Tell let him know about themselves. Oh, well, what you, they you out see, on? what what you don't know is that uh the government is controlling you, sir. They're oh, using no. the brainwaves from from the the media <laughs> and the television and the internet screens to make you the believe inter- not the internet screens. Oh no, tell yeah, me more. that's right. To make you believe that Lil Nas X is just a regular person, not an industry plant sent here <laughs> to turn you all homosexual. That's right. Didn't you see his new music video? He's butt ass naked with a bunch of men in a shower in prison, and you know what happens in prison. Ah, that's, that's right. right. Uh, he was actually just recruiting some real cheekbusters, as they say. But no, like uh, I don't know that 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 whole thing with the baby. Like, how are you that much of an idiot? Like, I, I'm I'm just confused. Well, you see, uh, he's he's just popular on being himself. He makes his music. His music is an extension of himself, and he's just being himself. This is how he naturally is. I'm, People... not, talking, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the baby. I'm talking about that guy. Yeah, I know. I'm also talking about the baby. <laughs> like people who are surprised that he would say all these things and he would, you know, uh, do all these things. Uh, uh, I don't know what they were expecting. Look, like, I, look, I'm not surprised from a, you know, oh my god, I can't believe he'd be like that. I mean, we know how hip, we know hip hop culture's track record, especially street record, with the LGBTQIA plus community. We already know what that is and how that shakes out. That's why it yeah. doesn't shock me. But what I'm saying is, how do you have like one of the easiest layups in the history of uh, of layups? Because if I remember right, the baby wasn't even originally on the uh, Rolling Loud like little concert tour. Like he, he wasn't even there. He was actually replacing Little Nas X due to the simple fact that Little Nas X has a legal battle going on with Nike right now over his shoes. And I'm like, so you replace the gay person, and the first thing you got to do is uh, come out with that, like off rip. Hey man, he got to stay on brand. What you mean? Nah, hey man, look, I, if, if, if that's if that's what you call on brand, I'm just letting you know. There's a lot of people who are now gonna be looking at you in some type of way, especially when you got when you when your opinion is flanked by Ti, who is still under investigation, by the way. Tory Lanez, allegedly, who mm-hmm. well. It's still under investigation, the last I heard. Like, people just kind of went like, I think what, Tory Lanez or someone else like implied that like, oh, y'all don't know the whole story. And people are like, oh, see, we got to give, you know, Tory some some uh, uh, some bail here. Like we were being so mean to him at first. You know, Megan came out and she's like, he shot my foot. And, and they're like, wow, you shot Megan? Wow. Cancel. Never, 
Never again, Tori. How dare you? The queen? And and now all of a sudden he's like, nah, y'all don't know the full story. And it's like, bro, what? Like, but you still shot. So, okay. All right. Well, well the courts will deal with that. Yeah, <laughs> like the- right? And then the other person who's backing his opinion is just, it's boosy, man. And I feel like every time Whoa. there's any sort of discrepancy with the LGBT community, like, even if it ain't got nothing to do with hip hop, somehow you get that, come on, dog. Come on now, dog. And somehow he just, it's like he looks for it. Like, we gotta start looking at Boosie some type of way. Cause I'm, like, he, like, he be, like, it'd be crickets. It'd just be a chair. It'd just be a chair just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. Just, just out here. Nobody talking. All of a sudden, gay rapper does literally anything. Come on now, dog. It's young Boosie in the bed. Let me talk to you real quick. And all of a sudden, like he, he's on, he's on Vlad TV. He's on any news network that'll have him. He's on IG Live. He's posting on Twitter. He's telling everybody in the whole world. Like, remember what happened with Dwayne Wade and, and his daughter? Do you remember that? Yeah. Who was there, front and center? Boosie. <laughs> of course. But, you what? know he he's, he's I don't know he I guess he believes he's talking for the culture or something like that but like I don't know, I don't know dude yeah. the there thing about some... okay okay so so yeah this is the it's important that people are bringing all this stuff up because it you know brings uh, uh light to something that we, that we most of us already like knew which is the underlying uh, uh homophobic uh, uh nature of a lot of rap culture um uh, a lot of black culture in general even though people always make jokes about atlanta <laughs> people uh, uh yeah you know people uh, already know they always have like you know uh, a gay cousin or a gay uncle or a gay aunt you know whatever but you know everybody wants to make jokes everybody wants to say all some nonsense nah man i ain't gay i ain't out here touching booty it's like okay but like what happened when you were in uh yeah nah man nah we don't talk about none of that shit man nah man i'm a man what you talking you know all of that nonsense Mm-hmm. And people are ringing to the light, and they're like, "Yo, Lil Nas X is allowed to be gay." Uh, uh, you know, mind you, Lil Nas X is definitely being extra, and that uh, that's fine. Whatever. People who people who enjoy that are going to enjoy that. People who don't don't seek it. Like, look, we're in an e- era where I don't have to see a music video ever in my entire fucking life unless I go on YouTube and look up the music video. Because and if, I, and what? if I'm watching a music video and I see something that's like, all right, that's too much for me, bro. There's a thing at the top right hand corner of the screen that is the X button that will close the window. And if, if you don't want to close the window, all right, there's this whole thing on the right side of the screen where there's a whole bunch of other videos you click on to emergency ejecto seat of yourself into a place that you may deem more comfortable. Hmm? No one's like for like this ain't like the intro to Robot Chicken where you strapped to a chair and someone's got these pliers opening your eyes. It's like watch it, watch the black male booty, <laughs> watch it generate on the screen. Ah, that's not that doesn't happen. Right, exactly. Like like it, it, people make it seem like it's being shoved down their throats, but it's not. Cause also, because when because when I was introduced, I was scrolling down the Twitter feed and I was like, what the hell is this? Anyways, and I just kept it moving. I'm not trying to look at that, you know. I had to find it. Like, I literally, like, I heard people were talking about it. They talked about the song. Now, you know, when people talked about the Montero uh, video, uh, I had heard, you know, uh, Montero in, like, commercials and stuff, uh, or, like, clips of Montero in commercials and stuff, and I was like, okay, you know, this can't be the song that he's putting in that music video, because they're like, oh, my God, that's the most amazing song ever. And then I heard it, and I was like, this song is kind of mid. I mean, the video, I get it. But uh, honestly, the video is is done really well. There's a lot of money going into that. You know, the the set design, the the costumes, all that. There's a lot of money going into that. And you know, if you're into that sort of thing, it looks good. Like you know, it, it looks amazing. Like it's, it's it's wild. You know, it's very impressive. Uh, otherwise, if you're not, you don't have to fucking watch it. <laughs> like I had to look that up also and watch it, and I was like, oh, this is the hype. Cool, I get it. I get why some people are upset. I get why others are, you know, praising it. And that's it. You know, I can move on with my life. I don't, I don't have to care about this because it doesn't matter. But, but people make it seem like they're brainwashing. Like he's out here brainwashing to the kids and whatnot. <laughs> and even Lil Nas X is like, why are your kids watching this? <laughs> like, what do you? But, like, that's what number you... one. And number two, like they make it seem like, man, if he ever tries to perform that, I'm gonna beat him up. And I'm like, bro, what do you? What, what do you? If that means for you to go somewhere where he's performing, you had to pay tickets knowing he'd be there. Right. 
Also, you're gonna beat him up because he's he's being gay like uh, on his own without you. Like what what does that what does that have to do with you? Like what the heck? Are you you also gonna like beat up somebody because they they had sex with their wife? Like like what do you like <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Why why does that matter to you? Like that man Who? does what I, he does and that's fine. I have no idea. Now some of y'all may be saying. So what concert did this all take place at? Well, this all took place at uh, the Rolling Loud event, and what you're seeing on screen is Duke Deuce's segment. And you may be saying, why Duke Deuce? Because when it shows these crowd shots, you will clearly see in the crowd, ain't nobody and they mama got a mask on nowhere. Not one. Not even a little Bo Peep of a mask. And they all up on top of each other, and you may be saying, all right, well, we're in the we're kind of coming out of the backside of a pandemic, so like, uh, was it safe? No, because you're seeing that there are tons of people who went to this event who are coming out on social media saying, <coughs> "I got the COVID, y'all," and it's Whoa. like, "What did you think was gonna happen? Do you not see this?" You no, man, it's over. What are you talking about? Hey, well, what are you talking about? The vaccine is out, and you know the computer chips are there. They've activated COVID cure. Is that not how it works? <laughs> Sir, the look, the, a, a telegram thread told me that this is how it works. What are you talking about? I, you know, I, I was reading over on Discord and uh, one of my deep dive servers that actually this whole world has just been sent to the astral plane. This is all an isekai, ladies and gentlemen. We're playing a game called COVID Online. See, it when you said Discord... When you said Discord, I was like, I was like, oh no, nah, they don't talk about that stuff on Discord. And then you said Isekai, and I was like, oh yeah, all right, that's Discord. <laughs> yeah, brought me right back on board. <laughs> brought me right back. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, conspiracy theory on Discord? Nah, man, they go on like Gabber and, and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, and, and yeah, Isekai. Wait, hold on, hold on, oh yeah. Wait, wait, Gabber, is that the Trump one? Is that the one we talked about a couple weeks ago? I think so. <laughs> like <laughs> shit, man. There's so many. There are honestly so many. Oh my god. Look, look, bro. Look, look, bro. Look. Someone just threw a trash can. That's a trash can up there, and it just hit people. These are the people you out here with, with no mask, sweating, hyperventilating on people. Like, hey, man. How did you think you wasn't going to catch COVID thirty seven? Not to that's mention, normal. Not to mention, there's a new, more contagious strain. The Delta vari- the variant, well, I was about to say variation. This ain't Mortal Kombat 11 here. Hold on. COVID got custom moves? <laughs> Actually, it sounds like COVID has custom moves now because you got the Delta variant out here. You know, that, that's uh, variation three right now uh, coming through like, hey, yeah, uh, the Delta variant has, uh, it's actually plus 20 on block. So if you're not wearing your masks, uh, then GG's. And bro, it, it, and trust me, man, it's got a 50-50 chance of hitting you with the T.O.D. And you don't want that. You don't want. You don't want to meet Todd in the upper room. You don't Look, want that. Even when the vaccines were administered, people were being told this does not stop newer strains from infecting you. And you know what else they were told? What? This is a vaccine, not something that is going to be one hundred percent permanent. Like you do not just get this. And get a free pass to just start licking toilet seats on your local airliner, all right? Mm hmm. It, it, this is something that is supposed to give you like temporary protection, usually meaning by after six months, eight months, or even a year, you're going to have to come back and get the old booster shot, which means you're going to have to be back at it again, getting another shot on a yearly basis or whatever the uh, optimal time period is. And these people are just throwing. This trash can, bro. I'm out of here, bro. I got I got to close look, it, man. Look, close it, man. It's just do they doing too much now? <laughs> They're doing too much so, now. So, uh, 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 the thing about it is that people are just looking for an excuse to, like, you know, go back to like being dirty, busting out, you know, doing whatever the hell they, it is they do. You know, oh, concerts are packed. I'm gonna throw some trash cans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lick all the doorknobs. I'm gonna do all the DMT. Like, what are you talking? Get Joe Rogan out here. Like, you know, <laughs> whatever, right? But Ultimately, uh, uh, these people are the same people who don't really like, you know, they thought being like health conscious was like a chore, not, you know, something that would help them and everyone else overall. So it's not surprising that people are doing this sort of thing. It's just uh, uh, disappointing. Uh, But at the same time, they're like, oh, I got the vaccine. I'm good. You know, uh, I, I got the vaccine. I, I can do whatever I want. You know, and then, you know, the media helped them a little bit by being like, hey, 
if you got you got vaccinated, you can go inside the store. You don't have to wear a mask. You'll be fine because you're not giving it to anybody. And then <laughs> it was like, hey, yeah, but what about those people who who uh, haven't um, uh, gotten uh, pricked yet? And well, those people would have to wear a mask. Uh, do they? No. No. <laughs> They're like, oh. Well, some of them are mad. Some of them are anti-vaxxers hemming people up at restaurants out there in Hollywood. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, uh, what you talking about? Oh, uh, uh, so I, I got to have the, the, the COVID vaccine to eat food? Oh, they're going to take a man, my right to eat food at a restaurant? How dare they do that? So for those of you who may not know what we're talking about is there's a restaurant over there in Harlow, over there in, uh, I think it's like Santa Monica Boulevard. I think it's down mm. there. Yep, and, somewhere uh, in LA. Very close. Yeah, so basically what ended up happening is people were like, yeah, man, let's go inside and eat. But there were some anti-vaxxer protesters that were not too far away who were very upset that the restaurant had some, you know, vaccination protocols, a.k.a. if you're not vaccinated or if you're not wearing a mask, you ain't getting up in here. And some people were very upset by this restaurant policy. Now, personally, uh, I, I wouldn't even eat an establishment that doesn't have some sort of policy to help regulate what's going on here with all these people out here just running around with no mask, no vaccination, just going, <laughs> putting a flam on everything they can get their hands on. Just yeah, that's why you them. avoid the, the buffets. I'm not going to a place where somebody's hands or somebody's, you know, whatever could be close to my food that I'm getting. Nah, man. <laughs> when you got a sickness that's out here killing people, nah, man, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'm not going to... New strains coming out and, you know, we are not even in the fully tested phase of these vaccinations. Yeah, you know... You know, finding the best time to be going out here in the, the mass, the the mass public, in terms I mean, of being unprotected. You know what I mean? We're out here getting body by. Uh, first off, we got body by by normal human version of COVID. Now we're out here getting body by the KO Ken version. Like, are we ready for Super Saiyan one? No, That's not true. even ready. <laughs> like, like, come on. Well, like, who won? Whoever thought COVID would catch a Zenkai boost, bro? This is not, this ain't the smoke we wanted. Because I mean, let's face it. Some of y'all were getting mollywhopped by con crud in the pre-COVID era. And in the post-COVID era. And, and, and here we are, boys. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this, is, this is like, this is what we got. This is what we got now. And it sucks. But people were out here getting assaulted. People were getting hemmed up. The, the protesters were like, anti-vax. We don't think of vaccinations are good. And they're over here assaulting and harassing customers for even going into an establishment. Of their own volition. And I'm just like, what are, what do we do? What are we own? Like, you gonna assault somebody who's just trying to feed themselves or their family or go on a date because you think that some people shouldn't have needles put into them for a vaccination? That that that's what you're telling me right now. And some of these people have some of the craziest conspiracy theories. Like you were telling me earlier about someone thinks that the Delta waves and why it's called the Delta variant. Because yeah, you see, you see what what you guys don't know is that it's called the Delta variant because Delta waves are produced when you're in a deep sleep. Therefore, they're naming it this because they know that you're all in a very deep sleep and they can do whatever they want to you. They can have whatever agenda that they want. That's it. The, the, no, no stating of like what this agenda is, or like you know, they're like the government wants to control you. It's like the, the, they have that to an extent already. So like, what do you, what do you yeah, even? It's, yeah, it's called the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 buddy. Uh, yeah, if, they, <laughs> if they want to find a way to get you to disappear, they can fudge up some documents. They take your house, your car. They probably even take your wife and husband, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, wow. All of this happening also while, you know, uh, uh, Joe Biden is allegedly lifting the uh, uh, eviction moratorium, which means that, you know, if you were, you know, suffering some hard times during uh, COVID, uh, during the pandemic and everything, and uh, you were living in an apartment, you know, you couldn't get evicted uh, in at least certain areas. And now, <laughs> for now getting thrown out. You're getting free balled. My man hit you with the uh the Star Fox sixty four. <laughs> Good luck. That's what you just got hit with. <laughs> this, I'm telling you, man, it's wild. Like I feel like a lot of things that we're lifting is just way too soon. Because having a hard time. Oh well, stop being broke. <laughs> oh, 
but but I've been laid off and no one's hiring because every, everything's just shutting down and you know pe- people aren't trusting the market anymore. Just That's stop being problem. broke. You better you better start flipping patties at the McDonald's. That's why all of them are almost closing up because they ain't got enough employees. But but I have like three degrees. I don't care about that. You better you better find a way to get three hundred eighty seven degrees on that oven and flip them burgers. Is that that I'm telling you, man? It, it, it's wild out there. In it this, sure is. In this behemoth typhoon, you have no job. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. It's really rough. But so. You know, yeah, we're going to have to like deal with this new train. We're going to have to, you know, deal with it the smart way, which is uh, I don't know, be safe. Just don't be dirty. Like like don't be dirty. Uh, uh you know, take a shower. Uh, uh you know, don't don't like kill yourself with hand sanitizer. Come on, like like relax. But wash um, your hands. Yeah, but wash your hands, of course. Wash your hands, you know, uh, uh don't do anything reckless. Don't lick doorknobs and whatnot. I mean, and you know, speaking of doorknobs, if you're in the safety of your own house and you live with uh, people who work or you work yourself, let me just give you a word of advice. All right. We'll just go. If you got any baby wipes or maybe you got a little bit of soap, you know, just 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 wipe down every doorknob you got in your house right now. Just just go ahead. Like you can even listen to us on your phone or wherever you're listening to this podcast. Put it through the big speaker. Put it through the Bluetooth, route it through your house, do whatever you got to do, but just start wiping down doorknobs. Just, 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 you, nev- you never know. You just never know. Some people may say, I'm not going to wipe down things in my own house. Believe me, fam. You, you, you think you know what's on them doorknobs. You don't. Because that's where your hands go all the time. You've been outside. You've been messing around with your garden. You know what I'm saying? You've been out there. The pollen hits you. You start wiping your forehead. You start <laughs> hacking in your hand because, you know, <laughs> you cover your mouth. Like a good person, or you cough into your elbow, but a lot of people still. <clears throat> you guys go out. Guess what? You put that mask in your hand when you take it off your face. You don't know what type of weird, funky germogens could be all over your hands by that point. And some. And what do you do when you come into the house? You touch the doorknob. You can't get all your groceries in one trip. What do you do? You touch the doorknob to leave the house. Guess what? You just bought groceries. You're not really thinking about washing your hands right now because you're not about to eat necessarily. And then you touch the door that's going upstairs, or you're touching the door that leads to the basement. You're touching the door that leads into your room with your computer and all your video game entertainment software. Like, trust me. Trust me. Doorknobs are a place where germs can just be breeding all day. This is not just a public service announcement. This is me just trying to tell you. Clean. Clean yourself. Watch yourself. Be now- better. Do better. We do know that there are going to be people who just are too stubborn to do any of these things. I mean, like, like there are people who literally have caught the Delta strain. They're hospitalized and they were asked, are you going to, you know, uh, uh, get the vaccine? Are you going to like wear a mask or whatever? And they're like, no. Because I don't like the government trying to control my life. And it's like, all right, bro. That's all right. I mean, you got it. <laughs> like, Here's, the thing. Here's the thing I never yeah. understood. They'd be like, I don't want the government controlling my life. They shouldn't get anything out of me. And I'm like, but That's you cool. pay taxes? But yeah, and the disease will control your life. That's one way or another. Something's going to control it, man. Your decisions are not going to be based on just doing whatever you want at this point, because you're either getting the disease, which means you're going to have to, you know, sit in a hospital bed for however long or you're not going to get it. And you're going to, you know, just wear a mask and then do everything else that you want to do. It's like at this point, you know, because, you know, if you already caught it, then you got to self quarantine yourself for two and a half weeks. And then it gets to a point to where if you like, I don't even want to do that. Well, not, now you're just going out of your way to be an asshole. Now, mind you, this is a person who is hospitalized. They were like hooked up to like, you know, uh, uh, some machinery there. They're having a hard time already in the hospital with this d- disease. And they're still like, nah, man, nah, it can't defeat me. And I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> like if you if you come out of this, God willing, then then maybe maybe you're right, man. Maybe you'll come out immune. Maybe you'll be the cure. Like, who knows? But, you know, if it can't defeat you this time, maybe it won't get you the next time. Maybe there won't be a next time. Hey, but man, we can so only hope. Some of these people are going to be going in there with their lungs coming out looking like Val Hazak from Monster Hunter, bro. Is that what you want? <laughs> I don't think anybody <laughs> wants that. But, you know, somebody's going to get it. That's that's the whole point here. Somebody is going to get it. It's out there. Like, there's no way. It's even, it's even in Georgia. Like, we have cases in Georgia that are rising. Mm-hmm. So, like, it, it, there's, there's not much that can be done 
besides using preventative me measures to make sure that you don't catch it so that you don't give it to somebody else. And uh, if that, honestly, if, you, if people can't be responsible for that, then it's more than likely there's going to be another lockdown, which nobody fucking wants because everybody is so scarred from having to be in their home for however many months the last time. So if you don't want that to happen, you got to do the bare minimum and like at the very least put on a mask or, you know, do whatever to make sure that you're not out here adding to the number of cases that are, you know, already out there with this, uh, with this disease. So, you know, yeah, people are like, Oh, there's going to be another vaccine. And it's like, probably, I mean, it, it's not like they're going to spray chemicals in the air so that we all just <laughs> ingest it. And we all of a sudden like have an immunity here. Like that's not how it works. It's like, and it's like, like, it's like what you want them to turn into like caustic from freaking apex legends. Breathe that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like my whole thing is that, for some reason, this whole like situation makes it seem like people have just forgotten what's happened with diseases in the past for like the past I don't know hundred uh, plus years <laughs> that hey, have been out man, here. Like what, what you talking about, fraudulence? You know we got the anti COVID nineteen chemtrail planes coming in hot. Oh, all right. Well, go ahead, guys. <laughs> I mean, if you think that's that's what's gonna solve it, then fine. You know you can't get you can't physically fight the disease. You you can't give it the hands. <laughs> Like it's invisible, so <laughs> it's it's fucking microscopic. So you can't fight it. Like you can't fight it with your hands. And so what are you gonna do? You know, no, it's I'm, out there. I'm, I'm telling it you, exists. That's gonna be the sequel to the Invisible Man. It's gonna be a man made of a COVID nineteen. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that no nah, man, because that that movie was <laughs> that movie was about like like uh, domestic abuse from a man who I don't know he had a, a like I don't know like a hard on for like uh, abusing his wife. This man invented an invisible suit after they have like you know not together anymore and he's pronounced dead. This man just shows up and stalks her and whatnot. Come on, man, like bro, uh, you could use that technology to do anything else. Anything nah, else? He, he you decide to, to be, torture he, your he, wife? He wanted to be a vindictive <laughs> dick and potential rapist. Crazy! Like, why? Why do that? That's a waste. A waste of good technology. See, that's why we don't have freaking like laser cannons and whatnot right now. We could have Iron Man out there right now, but nah, y'all want to spend your time abusing people and and making sure other people are dead and and fighting the internet. Come on, man. You can't fight the internet. The internet fights you every single day. <laughs> and it learns every single day. There's no way you can I mean, fight. Have you not learned from the baby? My man said, so y'all know who this is? It brought Tory Lanez out on stage. It's there been a wild go. 2021, man. But, <laughs> man. but you want to know what's funny? You want to know who took shots at the baby of all people, though? Boozy? <laughs> no, nah, nah, I said shots at the baby. Not, not backing him up. <laughs> Chris uh, Brown. That's right. Oh, ooh. and I'm like, if you put me in a position where I gotta start looking at Chris Brown as the voice of reason, I hate, I don't like you, fam. Just right. Yeah, this is such a like weird scenario because it's not like it's not like Chris Brown had like his his one thing with Rihanna, and then he just never had other moments uh, of controversy ever again. No, nah, that man. <laughs> I mean, I think, that stuff come up like three or four months ago. Exactly. Where he, he just stays being ignorant because he can get away with it, you know? Uh, Chris Brown, well, he's just, I don't know, he's just a scrappy dude. Uh, it just seems like that's how he's going to be forever. He's just going to be a scrappy dude who's just like, nah, man, you don't talk to me like that. You know, it's just like, whatever. Like, if that guy is the voice of reason, then you really got to uh, reassess everything that you're doing. Yeah, that's, there's a lot to unpack with that. Speaking of things that's a lot to unpack, the Olympics are currently going on. And boy, like we said last week, Tokyo and all of Japan is basically a state of emergency because let's face it, folks, we are still in a pandemic. And, and they're the country that actually like wears masks. So, yeah, hey, and, guys. And, and their case numbers shot up through the roof. And for some reason, Tokyo is really screaming at the top of their lungs that their officials are saying, but the Olympic Games are not why that's happening, even though a lot of people who are part of the Olympic Games for various nations who are there have the COVID. Wait, pause. Hold on. Hold on. This is a country that wears masks whenever they're sick, and they they have, like, a, a shortage of people, like, having sex and, like, you know, having relationships with each other and whatnot and interacting with each other. Like, they have an actual, like, problem with people who are just like, I'm just going to stay home as much as humanly possible. I'll go to the store, I'll buy my stuff, and then I'll go back home. You know, I interact with people. I don't need to do that. I've got the internet here. 
that country has a problem with COVID right now, and, and yet somehow we're gonna we're gonna beat it, man. Hey, look, Us man, over here, they, not doing half the things they're doing. We're gonna beat it, nationwide, man. Nationwide, the number of new COVID nineteen cases exceeded nine thousand for the first time in the history of the pandemic. So let's face it, folks. Get your over nine thousand jokes ready in the comment section below. Oh yes. boy! Hey, it's twenty twenty one. Somebody's gonna make it. Someone, someone's gonna say they. A lot of people do not have the intestinal fortitude or the self preservation or just the will to just not make the joke. Some people, it's so ingrained in, into their life. Like internet culture is ingrained into the psyche of so many people out there that like it's at a point now where some people actually have rewritten the original Dragon Ball Z. With their, with their head cannon that they've developed from the Abridged series, y'all think I'm joking? There's some people who think Trunks is exactly like he was in Dragon Ball Z Abridged in the actual show. It's a really weird thing, but you'd be surprised how big that that show was. That it's starting to rewrite some people's memory of what the actual show was. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But back on track with uh, the Olympics, a lot of people are like, well, we shouldn't have had the Olympic Games, which, you know, I, at this point, I'm like, you, you might as well have canceled. It's 2021, but you're still calling it the 2020 Olympics because I guess spending the money to change all the graphics and the flags and all the panels and things of that nature would have been way too much money because you're probably financially in the hole pretty deep already at an extensive manner for all the stuff that you put in just to get these games on the way in the first place. So doing a whole quote unquote rebrand by updating the zero to a one at the end of the year might be a little bit too much to ask for. But at that point, here we are. And a lot of people are watching the games from the comfort of their own home because no one's actually allowed in there. Because, I mean, I just heard me just say that country is going through it with the COVID-19 right now. And a lot of people are like, well, does that mean we should stop big gatherings? And I agree that we should probably limit them. But people, you got to stop acting like masks are not something that we need to fully embrace. Like, look, getting vaccinated, I 100% think we all need to embrace that. But for even for you anti-vax people out there, I don't really understand you. But put a mask on at the very end. Wear it correctly. I'll say this. Not have right? your nostrils out. Not have your bottom lip quivering out from underneath the mask i'll Don't. say this because you know everybody is like you know trying to get on the soapbox now being like you guys need to go out there and vaccinate yourselves and and blah blah, blah you know whatever right like hey be conscious when you're around people you know wear a mask that's fine you know if, if you don't want to do that don't go around people whatever right if you don't want to get vaccinated that's your prerogative but Whatever consequences happen as a result of that, that's also your prerogative. If something like awful happens, you, oh shit! Uh, uh, I think I I might have talked about this on here yesterday, or just told you, or yesterday, uh, last week, or told you about it uh, uh, before the stream last week. But you know the 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 guy who put out all these tweets. You know, I got ninety nine problems, but a but a vaccine ain't one. You know, <laughs> you know they can try to vac vaccinate me, but that's not gonna happen. Blah blah blah. That man got COVID and he died. All right, Herman Cain from here in Georgia. Remember that man was like, they're trying to get everyone to wear a mask and and they're trying to you know, take away our freedom and not they're the trying freedoms. to take away Trump. Uh, it's, it's terrible. Look at what they're doing. That man got COVID and died. There is a there is a trend with the people who are doing all these things. They're getting COVID and something bad is happening as a result of that. So. If you don't want to do all those things, that's fine. But you have to accept the consequences of those actions. You have to be a freaking adult about it and accept the consequences. Like, whatever is going to happen is going to happen to you. Look, you know? it's, it's the same thing you were taught when you were a kid. If the stove is hot or the iron is hot and you put your hand on it, do not be shocked when you get burned. Right. So if something happens as a result of this, you can't sit here and blame the government. You can't blame the media. You can't blame the leftists. You can't blame the right wing people. You, you can't blame QAnon. None of that shit. You can only blame yourself 
because of your decisions. And <laughs> and hey, if you're one of those people who even after all of that, you're just like, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm still not going to do it. Then that's fine. It, you know, if something happens as a result of that, that you don't like, you're going to have to eat that shit because that that's how it goes. Now, it sucks that we will lose people in the process because they will be too headstrong to just listen to uh, uh, just just advice on on being healthy because you you know you got people who are just like well what you know like, well, what about the test on this vaccine and what about you know this and that the vaccine is not FDA approved and blah blah, blah. and it's like that's cool uh, cool if you want to be a uh, uh, Mr. Contrarian over here or uh, then fine do that but if something bad happens to you or something bad happens to someone close to you as a result of your actions you have to eat that shit and that's all I'm ever going to say about this ever again when it comes to like people and their personal responsibilities. Like the reason why other people are getting on their soapbox is because you're going to affect other people at some point in time, unless you're just not going anywhere, which those people are not going to do. Um, ultimately, if something bad happens, that sucks. Like that, that's on you. Like <laughs> you're, you can only blame yourself. And we can also blame you because you made a conscious uh, decision. So. Because you want to know something else that's kind of interesting right now? Do you know how many people within the Olympic bubble have have had COVID since July 1st? Mm, Zero? Zero? No, I'm going to say five. I'm going to say five. Five? Yeah. Okay, I'm talking about Tokyo Olympics cases. I'm talking about people in the bubble out of all the nations that are competing at this year's Olympiad. Great. Uh, Five to ten. Five to ten? All right, so I'm talking... Now this this includes organizers, competitors, reporters, and you know people who are you know just there you know lugging the cameras around for the news. So you're still sticking with five. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Are we? Can we like confirm? Is there like any confirmation that they've oh. like taken measures to oh, no, make no, sure no, that people are tested? Measures. People have been getting tested, but as we said since July first, more people have been they're getting continuous tests. And the people who are there, the cases have now apparently rolled over to 169. Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> how is that? How's that number so high? Even after uh, like taking the precautionary measures, like what is what what is what is going on here? <laughs> like, uh, like how how? Yeah, I mean, your guess is as good as mine on that uh, one. But as we all know, a lot of these countries they don't play fair. They're here to win. They're I mean, competitive. Uh, oh, Jesus, no. I'm not, <laughs> because you think your country may not have forged and fudged some documents doesn't mean that every country didn't oh, yeah, forge right. some documents. I mean, I, hell, if I remember right, Russia was still technically suspended, but they had a slight name change to where they were like the coalition of Russia, and now mm-hmm. they're all good again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? But um, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. When you put it in that put it in that perspective, yeah, that's right. I mean, <laughs> to think the whole time they were like, "Oh, we don't want you having sex with each other over here," and it's like, um, what about the disease? You know, like maybe we don't want them like coughing on each other and stuff. Hey, how about that? And uh, now you got hundreds of cases. That sucks. Yeah, like it, 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 it's it's re- it's really sus. You know, it's really sus. But you want to know what's something really, 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 really weird to me, right? What? So, when you really break this down, Russia got their doping ban reduced, right? Right. And they were supposed to miss the next two Olympic things, like the, the next two Olympic events. So, they're supposed to be like basically banned for eight years, right? And world championships for the next two years from that decision, right? Right. But. The CAS unanimously found that Russia was not in compliance with the international anti-doping rules. And that's where all this thing started back, like, what, like, five, six years ago, something like that. And people are like, well, what, what are we going to do? Well, that means Russian athletes cannot compete under their nation's name, flag, in the uh, Tokyo Summer Olympic Games. But as long as they are the Russian coalition... They're basically running as independent with Russians still in their name. 
Yeah, that's one of the many ways that people can get around things like that. And we can have the situation where people get sick. Because, hey, if you tell people you can't come into this party, you are a danger. You're like a ticking time time bomb right now. It, they don't, they're not going to be like, oh, you know what? I should go home. I'm a ticking time bomb. They're going to try and get in. All right. There's a television show, right? Called Heroes. And in that show, the central conf conflict of the first season is that somehow, some way, some person is going to literally blow up in the middle of like, a, uh, like Times Square. Oh, boy. And, uh, uh, you know, th this is basically like, you know, your X-Men style show where like, you know, people with uh, special abilities, you know, start start popping up. And, you know, halfway through, you find out that there's a man who literally is a nuclear bomb as a person. Nuclear like, like, man? Pretty much like like that man is basically he's a he's a bomb. He accidentally killed his wife because he, he gave her radiation poisoning because of th <laughs> these powers like this. This man is just a bomb. Now, you think telling him, hey, man, y you've been making your wife sick and, you know, with these these abilities and whatnot is going to stop him from seeing his wife. Oh, he snuck into the hospital that his wife was was at and dying in to see her again. And it was like, you know that it, it's because of your radiation, but you're going to go see her again. Come on, man. Like, you got to calm down. No, nah, he doesn't. They're not going to care about that. They're going to be like, no, I can't get in. What? No, let me in. No, please. I, I want it more now. Please. <laughs> If I tell you guys, hey, don't go to Burger King. I mean, like, the burgers are really good, but like, hey, I don't really like Burger King has horrible political beliefs that I don't, I don't believe in. So you should all just not go there. Well, here's the thing: you you're thinking about Burger King, King right now. If you want to play that that corporate game of the cor this corporation is so evil, and you shouldn't go there, and you should you, you should you should boycott them in every single way. But I catch you with an Amazon Prime account and membership. <laughs> Come on now, don't do that to yourself. Look, man, it, it, when you get down down to it, uh, ultimately, you would not do much of anything if you uh, boycott oh, yeah. all of the companies if, that yeah, are I'm like. Saying, if you decided that, oh, you you didn't mess with with Bezos, or you found out someone is treating someone terribly over at Disney, or you know Fox or something like that, yeah, you you just with those two or three companies alone, you're not doing much of shit. If right, like Tencent is terrible in how they treat the Chinese. Guess what? You ain't doing a fucking thing, especially when it comes to video games. You are probably not doing Jack Diddley dog shit. Yeah, uh -huh. right or now. watching movies, or watching movies like that Terminator movie. Tencent. <laughs> it was yeah. like it was right there, and I was I was flabbergasted. I was like, Tencent is just out here, like, yeah, we did this. Like, oh, all right. So they're not even like in the shadows anymore. This is not like a company that works for a company that that you know uh, uh, is alleged. It's, yeah, you it's, know, it's under they're a sponsored by name that could potentially be sponsored. No, they, it's a ten cent right there. I was like, oh, they in the building. Mm -hmm. They was lying in wait for this one, man. They they said, come on now, Mister Cameron, why don't you just uh, come on in here and uh, let us uh, bank roll your little project. <laughs> Well, hey, that's what happens. And uh, ultimately, um, shit, man. Ultimately, when it comes to the the Olympics, uh, there's there's too much controversy going on, especially with the fact that people are people are like, well, why even do this right now? <laughs> it, it, it's see, cool. See, here's what they thought. They thought that it would give all the nations a chance to come together and sing kumbaya, and I was like, nah. All the people who was racist, still racist today. Mm -hmm. yeah, extra all, racist, actually. All, all the people who have their insecurities about what their nation is going to do as opposed to what their relationship is going to be with bordering lands, yep, there, that tension's still there. Remember the Rocky movie where they thought that Rocky was going to literally like beat up communism and like uh, uh, beat up uh, uh, the Russian like uh, uh, tension by by beating Ivan Drago? Like like at the end of the movie, they're like, yes, we fixed it. The world is safe now from Russia. 
Rocky defeated him. The U.S. survived. It's just like, bro, but this is just boxing. <laughs> like the political, the like geopolitical, like problems are still out there. They're still happening. And no, it's like, you know, what's, all right. So you know, this is kind of funny about that. When they have movies about our country versus another country in a sporting event, it's always like when the other country wins at the beginning of the film. Oh, we have to have rematches. Mm-hmm. But the minute U.S. wins, it's over. So that's nah, it. bro. There's we no won. More, we got no, it. Yeah, no more runbacks. No. Nope. Sorry, I want. I got my one. I, I gotta go. Sorry, there's no one more here. The set's <laughs> over. But but it's tied. The set's over. Nah, bro. It doesn't matter if this was the first or one hundred. I got my one. It doesn't matter. You got the fifteen. I'm going home. I laughed last. <laughs> Mortal Kombat rules. You didn't beat us ten times in a row, so none of it counted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh God! Ne- <laughs> never again! Nah, you gotta have a a three game lead in the set in order to win to win the whole thing and get the prize money. All right, bro. Just just say you don't. Just say you don't want to lose your money. All right, we can play for free. That's fine. All right, man. But lead put with your that, pride bro. on the line. Nah, lead with that. Lead yeah. With, don't. That's one thing you can't do in money matches. You can't challenge someone to a money match and then when when it's time to pay up, why well, you ain't got no money, dog? Because I mean. Hey, Depending on the neighborhood you in, that's how you get stomped out. <laughs> it's like that's cool, man. It, it, if you're broke, just say it. You know, yeah. we can still play play the set. We can still play some games. I don't mind that. Just tell me you're broke first before we start playing, and they'll be like, "All right, man, this is a free set just for you, buddy." Yeah, man, because you know some of the people, man, they get beat up and they they ain't got no shoes when they go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, man. They got uh, you walking home in socks. Uh, but you know that does a lot of mental damage just like what everyone's talking about with the olympics right now so we've got to bring it up man simone biles you know she she said you know after uh after she she did not you know make gold for her first uh competition you know she bowed out she was like you know i need to you know I, I need to not do this i need to take a break from my mental for my mental stability and now you have waves of people who are like no one cares about your fucking feelings why'd you go out there and, and, and do the olympics things and it's like okay maybe we should talk about where that mentality comes from sir if your boss is telling you he doesn't care that you got covid and you should still come in Quit the job, just just quit the job. Like, cause cause first off, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna kill a lot of people. <laughs> Second off, uh, they don't care about you as a person, and that's not okay. Look, and it's not okay for society to work that way. Look, look, here's the thing about Simone Biles that like I I just don't understand how these people who are like never been in a position of being that successful in anything, hobby, career, etc., so on and so forth. Right, They're coming after her next, and oh my god, she's selfish. She's this, she's that. I can't believe she's so weak. She's mentally feeble. Oh my god, you call this strong? She's not a leader. She's you know all these negative and derogatory terms. But somehow, some way, the same people who I'm seeing who are giving her a lot of guff about this are the same people who somehow understand when their stream favorite streamer is feeling burnout when they choose their own hours in their own home, but can't understand when someone else might be going through something similar and semi-relatable to that same feeling when they're overseas in the middle of a bubble where almost 200 people are getting COVID over in a foreign land competing again in which they've already had gold medals aplenty and they backed out of a team event. Not even the individual, the team event. Mm-hmm. Which, if I correct me if I'm wrong, they won anyway. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, to add to that caveat, I mean, this is this is a uh, uh, international event, which means people from other countries, countries where they, they're just straight up racist over there still. <laughs> you know, those people are there. And then you got to deal with that. You got to deal with those interactions. And then you also have to deal with, uh, uh, you know, the controversy that she has going on where allegedly. She first and foremost, the Olympics are out here, uh, uh, you know, posting all these tweets and shit being like, look at that. She's the first person to to do this, uh, uh, do this ever. You know, she's the first uh, person to ever do this in the competition ever. Oh, my God. An amazing feat. And yet 
she's not getting appreciated. Like that's not getting appreciated. It's like, bro, if I if I literally ran around the world like six times and came back here in ten minutes, and you're you're just like, shit, man, wow, that was kind of cool, and then you all just leave. Yeah, I, I, I would feel some type of way. Like, what are you what are you talking about? Like, do you do you not understand what I just did? If I did that for a competition, and they're like, yeah, you get like you know two points. Bro, that's 600 points. What are you talking about? I ran around the world 600 times, you know, and I came over here and you're just like, nah, man. Nah, but your posture was bad, bro. Oh, my posture. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, then show me. Show me how to do it properly right now, <laughs> sir. Because, like, because I mean, if I'm doing it bad, then like, you know, you got to show me the right way, right? Uh, you do have those abilities, right? I, I would rather, I would rather someone run six miles with perfect form than around the world 600 times with improper form. That's why we had to make sure that you didn't finish on the podium. But, you know, I know we're talking hyperbole here, but like. But it, for the actual to... example, she pulled off some some like amazing things that are literally being touted as that she's the first person to ever do this in the Olympics ever or in any competition ever. And she it was undervalued. She got like underscored for it. Like uh, experts are literally coming out and they're being like she should have gotten at least one or two extra full points for this. And at, at best, she got like a point and a half for it. And, you know, that can also be mentally taxing, having to deal with the fact that not only did you do these things, you know that you should have gotten more. But now you have to count, uh, uh, account for the fact that at, at the very least, at least one judge ha- uh, doesn't believe that you're doing well enough or that what you're doing is good enough. After all the moments of your life where you have to deal with other people telling you that what you're doing is not good enough. Well, look, man, even though you're doing amazing things. Simone Biles like recently put out a tweet. I think it was yesterday where basically they were saying that the outpouring love and support that she received over here on social media made her realize that she's more than her accomplishments and gymnastics, which and at the end of the quote, it says, which I never truly believed before. So even when you are international like phenomenon, a national hero, someone who's like idolized by many. Even they still thought that maybe I am nothing more than just my accomplishments and my medals and my gymnastics. Maybe I am nothing. Maybe all I am is a is a marketing boy. And she's so, twenty four years old and like having to like deal with all those things. There are people who are like fifty four years old and still and like can't handle the weight of those things. And like they. Uh, they ask for a pass all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it makes no sense. Half the people who are who are like criticizing her would get put into like an equally pressurous situation, and they would complain that people don't, you know, care about their feelings or whatever. And it's like that. That's when it gets to that mentality of, oh well, I suffered. So so why are you not suffering uh, in a, like a similar situation? People didn't care about my feelings, so why should they care about yours? And it's like, because we should change? <laughs> like, we should be better? <laughs> Hello? Like, if we had that mentality throughout history, then there would be a lot of like shitty t- situations that are going on right now. I'm not going to list any of them because, you know, y- you guys know. Well, actually, <laughs> with what they're trying to do, the curriculum now, you might not know, but shit. Look, it, it's it's really it's really interesting to see people like come ahead and like saying, "Oh my God, you you took an opportunity away from an alternate. You shouldn't have gone at all." And it was just like, "All right, first of all, when she's literally, and I mean this in the nicest way possible," to quote Scott Snyder. When you're a genetic freak and you are literally like the most S tier thing in your field, first of all, mental health does not work on your convenience, okay? Let me just tell you that right now. Mental health could be all good, glitz, glamour, and gravy all day, every day, and all of a sudden it's 8 p.m. on a on a Thursday, and you're like, you know what? I hate it here. I mean, we barely like we uh, we barely respect like you know CTE and stuff like that, and like the the overall effects of, of shit like that now. So I'm not surprised that like you know this nuanced conversation of like, hey, you know these these things that you're like forcing people to do for your entertainment like have 
uh, uh, an effect on them. You know, like when you think about all the entertainers who who like have been suicidal. You know, when you think about stuff like how Dave Chappelle pointed out that Anthony Bourdain just travels the 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 world and he he you know gets to eat food in all these different places and like you know meet the, all these different people and stuff like that. And he had mental health issues and he took his own life. You know, so you can't just sit there and just judge everyone like, oh, he should have been happy. Like, well, he wasn't. Like, And you see what happened. The worst possible outcome happened. Like, we don't want this to happen with Simone Biles. And so it's better that she's taking that responsibility for herself and being like, look, the, I, you know, I need my time. Also, you meant to mention alternates. So what's the alternate situation here? Like what, they didn't have the ability to have an alternate just take her place when she bowed out? Like what, uh, how, why is that? Like if that's the case, like if they didn't have someone that could replace her, why did no, they not she, have someone that she, could no, replace she, her? They, they did. Okay, then, then no, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? Because there are, limited, <laughs> there are a limited amount of slots for each thing, but it's just like they already had people who were there for next man up. Are you saying like the the, the last alternate couldn't go? Because if that's the case, that that that's weird to me. Yeah, it's it's very confusing. Like she's now given someone else an opportunity to actually show out at the Olympics. Uh, like, why why focus on her? You know, taking her time to like drop out or whatever, just because I don't know. You you saw a bunch of shit with her name in the media that was hyping her up and now you're like oh man but now she's not fucking because because, because i think in the team event oh, okay i could be wrong I could be wrong i think this is how it works if you drop out of the team event right i'm pretty sure the rules of the olympics don't let someone replace you but i do believe that if you haven't if you if the event hasn't started, right? Right. Then someone else can take your place. What's the okay? What's the reasoning behind not allowing someone to take your your, your spot? What they they is it like some ideal of like oh maybe they saw the other team do their shit and they're gonna steal some tech from them or something like that or or like what, what what's the What's the thought process here on why you couldn't have someone replace someone who needs to get uh, 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 who needs to get replaced for whatever reason? Especially since people can get hurt, uh, people can get sick, people can definitely get sick now. Um, <laughs> you know, all of these things. Hey, what, what's the what's the thought process on why they would prevent you from having an alternate who's like this person is going to take yeah, their right, spot? Because so like because you can't have an alternate in the sense of you can't have someone else on the list so it's basically the people who are on the team now just have to perform her events if that makes any sense it would be like if me you mike caudis and sora all were playing like our respective games and then i'm like yeah i don't feel like doing it and then one of y'all had to play mk11 so one of you had to play two games okay but like it, was i like prepared as like a oh I know how to play MK11 just in case one of you guys can't. Well, that's see, what I'm a, saying. A, a lot of these gymnasts are all around, so they could do everything if they wanted to. Okay, that's 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 fine. Like, see, this is uh, this is and what is the word like ex extenuating circumstance here, where it's like you know this person uh, wanted uh, needed to you know take a break for their health. Because well, let's say she pushed, her, uh, pushed herself through whatever mental health problems are going on here. Okay, what if uh, 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 her mental health issues cause her to have a meltdown and now uh, uh, she's caused someone else to have gotten hurt in this process? Uh, you know, she got hurt in this process. Like, what, uh, is that entertaining for people? Hell no. You know, are you getting the best possible results? Right, hold Hell on, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. So here, here, so six women qualify for Tokyo: Biles, Childs, Suni Lee, Grace McCollum, Jade Carey, and Michaela Skinner. They also have four alternates: Kayla DeCillo, Emma Malabuyo, and uh, Leanne Wong, along with Kara Eaker, who tested positive for COVID. Damn. 
An injured or sick gymnast can be replaced no less than 24 hours before the start of qualification. Okay. That is when an alternate can be brought in according to the International Federation's rulebook. However, a gymnast needs to be replaced at, who needs to be replaced after qualification for final events can only be replaced by another qualifying gymnast. Therefore, none of the alternates can replace Biles because they did not participating in excuse me, because they did not participate in the qualifying events. That rule sounds fucking stupid. Only her How are they going to qualify if they don't? Hold on. Only her current teammates who have qualified can replace her. But they're part of the team, are they not? Uh, apparently, it doesn't work like that. Okay. It's, if it doesn't work like that, then fine. But, like, if if this is a situation where they're all on the same team and they're the only ones that can, like, possibly qualify anyways, then how are you going to have people to replace them in, you know, any sort of, like, emergency s- sort of situation? Like... If the alternates can't even try to like qualify to be like, oh, this alternate has qualified, so they're therefore they'll be on the back burner just in case something happens or you know whatever. Well, that's the thing. Our alternates haven't qualified. That that's that's the issue. So they they were able to try and they just didn't qualify. Uh, according to this, an injured or sick gymnast can be replaced no less than twenty four hours before the start of qualifications you know to get right. into the top eight you know thing that is when an alternate can be brought in during that phase of qualifications that's what i'm saying but they, they she quit when they were in the finals like they were already in right which means like they, there's no possible way to have alternates for finals that that's essentially what they're saying for final events you can only be replaced with another qualifying gymnast aka the people who qualified with you to be there in the first place so now my th- my thing is why? Because fuck you. That's why. That's, that's, <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Like like why? Like what's the thought? Pro- like wh- who? What's the thought process here? Like what am I missing? It's as one of those. To... It's, it's one of those arbitrary things. of fuck you. It's canceled. Exactly. You know this is the type of thing that allows us to to you know peel back this system and the be only, like why? The why? only thing. The only thing. I and mean, this is like some big big mondo brain thing that well i mean i guess if you know russia was okay with peds maybe they could do like i did like it, it would take some shady work but i the only thing i think it leaves you susceptible to in the rules is this somehow some way you have somebody qualify and your teammates qualify but your ringer or like let's just say your simone biles your your s tier athlete is getting extra rest by not having to do the qualifiers and then just hops in. That is the only way that I can see that working in a country's favor. But, you know, basically resting them, you know, like you rest your starters before the playoffs. I get that. That's the like, only thing I can see. Yeah. Like I could like I could understand that, but wouldn't that also mean that the other people are not getting rest in between these uh uh in between uh, the the finals in between qualifications all of that like what see that that's the thing like what is okay yeah, they get extra rest, but the, doesn't that also mean that they're they've been training anyways, so like wh- what maybe extra training would be problematic but i don't i don't it, know it wouldn't be extra training it's just like all right it, so no so, i mean like they actually get sh- uh, like time to have extra training for this and then they come in like in the middle of it and it's like oh that that could be a disadvantage well, yeah, maybe they, they, could, they, they could be fresh and also since you didn't especially when it's something like you know being a gymnast you could see what the competitions work with you could scout yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. So Yeah, I know, but like th- that's it. And like I feel like that's going way out of your way. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're willing to 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 have a coalition of people go out of their way to, you know, dope up. Who's to say who's to say it's mm. not something that's going to happen anyway? Like who's Exactly. Who say it's not happening now? Exactly. Like <laughs> Between all the like cheating scandals and whatnot that we've like uh, 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 seen, and some of the ones that we probably haven't seen yet, like that, I don't know. 
that, that, that's, that's strange. I mean, but you can't talk about things that, you know, uh, we haven't seen because, you know, there's no way of proving that, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that gets very, like, conspiratorial. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, she's she's not going to be competing. Like, she already, you know, uh, uh, she already quit. She already took her, like, break at Misty's finals. Everybody's well. That's for the team stuff. Apparently, she still has enough time to come back for the individual. Well, then, then what the fuck? All right, yeah. Uh, people are making like I'm uh, a mountain out of uh, what seems to be a molehill because the team already did well, regardless. Yeah, because I, I went to go back and check. The team got it. The team picked up the silver in the teams, but it's not like and- her performance leading up to that point was like terrible. And exactly. People, and some people are like, oh my god, she let them down. I was like, but by getting the silver. That's another thing, you know. We're we're all talking about her mental health. You all you all you freaking people are out here saying that she disappointed, like she she let down America and whatnot by getting silver. Like, bro, she plays. It's like you want to talk about letting down letting down America. How about your basketball team? There we go. There we go. What about <laughs> oh, your like, boy Kevin Durant? Yo, Kevin Durant's burner gonna be mad busy this weekend. It sure is, man. Uh, all right, like. Essence, it, it, it's just this mentality of people uh, uh, deciding that they can uh, speak to things that they literally have not experienced or speak to things that they're not like directly involved with. It's just uh, it, it, it's just mind boggling that they're like, nah, man, she she like ruined America and blah, 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 this and that. And it's like it's not that deep, bro. Like, like if you have a problem with it, why don't you be the next gold medalist uh, out here doing all this? Because um, I think this also brought up that uh, the fact that like most most gymnasts have been uh, uh, doing this since they've been like very very young, like you know between like eight to twelve That's and whatnot. Life. It's life. Yeah, power. it's life, and and that also is mentally taxing in like horrible ways. And then you also have like you know things you all, other things you have to factor in like like injuries, abuse, uh, all all this other like wild shit. That uh, that is not good for anyone who's like twelve years old. And see, see, looking at the like the looking at the bigger scope of things, uh, it, it, it's good that this is being talked about so that something can be done about putting people in these situations that can be very, very harmful to their uh, mental health. Because they could, you know, get some some very horrible associations with uh, bad behavior, and they might think, you know, like, uh, like being mean, being awful, and pushing people past their their limits and whatnot is just the norm. And then, uh, you know, that that could just that that could not go well in the future of their lives. You know, like these are still people; they're still going to be amongst us. They're still going to have like positions that you know affect the world and. It's not like this is like a small group of like 12 people or something like that. This is a large group of people, like hundreds, thousands, uh, maybe even more of people who are going to be out there. And then they're also going to like, you know, teach this mentality to other people. And then that's going to like become a very, very horrible thing. So, yeah, if one of them is like, look, you don't understand the pressures that I'm feeling right now. And I am not going to be able to perform to the best of my abilities because of uh, what's going on with my mental health right now. Therefore, I believe that it would be better if I don't perform in this particular event. And then I make sure that I'm good for the other events that I'm going to be taking a part of. Like she didn't like quit. I mean, could you imagine if like, she was like, nah, man, I'm gonna tough it out. And then she goes up there and breaks her neck. No, Oh, yeah. exactly what, you, what america gonna do for her <laughs> exactly what what do you what do you couch potatoes out here uh criticizing her gonna do like what do you because i'm worried some of y'all still gonna come on whatever podcast y'all got whatever whatever platforms y'all got and y'all gonna say she's throwing she's throwing the team event that's like, cool it's like she broke her neck bro what do you mean she's throwing y'all gonna say the same stuff then that y'all saying now so i mean I mean, if you if you peel this back a little bit more, what's all this for? Entertainment, right? It's just entertainment, like, or just to be like, yeah, our country has the best people this time. Like, cool. All right. What else? Is it is it, is it gonna make your health care better? 
Nope. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> it's not like that. Like winning the Olympics is going to give you superpowers. It's not like winning the Olympics is going to give you like, like like. Are we competing for the COVID vaccines? Like no other that's country saying, will like, get them. Like, uh, like we're not going to have like diplomatic immunity in certain countries if we win the Olympics or anything like that. Ultimately, this is all for entertainment. And people, yeah, you sure, got people are going to be. You got more for winning the Battle City tournament in Yu Gi Oh. Shit. That you do for winning the Olympics. I'll tell you that right now. That that's where we're at. You, you pick up a card game. Become esports. And so now that we're having a talk where it's like, is any of this worth the the abuse that that uh, people are taking for this? You know, it, it's the C, uh, uh, a CTE conversation where it's like, OK, we've got football players who like, you know, there's a trend of football players who have uh, uh, head injuries <laughs> that have uh, uh, prolonging like like, you know, uh, uh, mental issues after they get out of the game. Uh, is it even worth it for everything that they're doing just for this, uh, just for this game, just to be entertaining? Sure, they make millions of dollars, but they're not even going to be able to like process uh, how great that is because of the the like issues that they have long term. You know, like that's not going to be good. Yeah, because I mean, when your brain is a scrambled egg, who cares if you have money? You probably can't even process the fact that you have money. I mean, shit. Remember when people tried to make like some argument that the CTE and like like culture and whatnot are the reason why uh, uh, Mike Vig did the things that he did, why Ray Rice did the things that, that he did. You know, it's like if you're gonna make that excuse, then you gotta also understand that that thing needs to be like fixed. <laughs> so, like we can't just be like, yeah, hey guys, CTE. Anyways, well, moving on. Like, I mean, hey, look, Chris, look at Chris Benoit. Shit, yeah. Like the you, worst case. Man goes home and then and then he believed that he was like saving his family from some sort of like 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 religious retribution that's coming or something like that. Like, like come on now, like like because I remember uh I saw an interview with Chavo Guerrero, one of uh another wrestler, and uh you know obviously I want to say he was uh Eddie Guerrero's nephew. So, yeah, you know, they were all close. And he said that he just calls him. He's like, I'm sorry, man. I had to let him go. And I was like, what? Could you imagine someone calling, just calling you like one of your homies who, you know, has got a family? Says I had to let him go, man. They, they, they got, you know, is it they're in a better place now? You know, and it starts trying to pray to you and it just hangs up the phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to like hightail it over there. Or something, or call him back and be like, "Yo, you what good? what happened? Yeah, are you good? Do I need to call the cops? Come on, man! Like, I don't want to do this." Yeah. So, hey, man, CT is a powerful thing, and it, you, you don't want that because that- uh, there was a uh, thing was I don't know if it was Dark Side of the Ring, whatever some documentary I was looking at, and one of the doctors was like, "Nah, we when we looked at his brain, nah, bruh." It was basically fried in there. Yeah, right. It's like it's it's pretty much mush in there. Like it's it's amazing that he was able to like walk. <laughs> like he's cooked, bro. I'm not trying to laugh at the misfortune of it, but like they were They're saying, like, the it, strain on that brain was max. It was, it was preventable. It was maximum. Yeah. D- d- stop taking those direct chair shots to the dome piece. Stop jumping off head first and stuff. One more, uh, one more point I want to make on this is that uh, uh, there was there was a movie uh, uh, with Chris Evans. Um, basically, the movie was about this this girl, uh, gifted. That's what the movie was called. Okay, you know this this little girl is the the daughter of a literal genius who uh, uh, was I don't know like two steps away from solving uh this this crazy equation that was gonna you know uh, do blockbusters for the world you know it's like she was basically gonna solve the anti life equation right now and this woman was raised her entire life being like oh you have to be a genius you have to you know do this whatever because her like father started it all this shit right that woman had her baby um. But like her baby was the result of like one of her moments where um, because of her mental issues, she uh, 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 she acted out sexually like she, she would just go out and like sleep with dudes. So like the father was not really like a person who was involved. Um, and 
uh, uh, um, what what you use? So this woman uh, kills herself because because of her like mental issues from like the the strain of like dealing with all that. She kills herself, and so now it becomes a custody issue with this kid who is just as smart. And for some reason in the movie, she's like uh, she's just passed on the the genius ability, and she's able to solve the equation. And so uh, uh, the brother, her the kid's uncle was also a genius, but he literally was like, nope, I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm going to get like a blue collar job and live my life. That was, that was Chris Evans. So, you know, he was also hot. So, you know, whatever his life was all right. Um, uh, so he tried to give this little girl the most normal life possible because he knew that if they uh, got a hold of her and tried to like force her to like solve this equation, they would just, they would never stop. And she would eventually like, uh, unfortunately, go down the same path as her mother and, you know, maybe uh, have the same fate. And so the father found out that, you know, this, uh, the government wanted a shit ton of money for it and all this stuff. And it became a custody battle. Uh, all the while, all these people are trying to be like, it's not that bad. Even though a woman killed herself over this, they're like, oh, it's not that bad. So, yeah, uh, this is very similar to something that's happening in real life right now. Honestly, when it comes to the uh, situation of a woman taking her own life over uh, uh, something and people just kind of downplaying that to, to, you know, say that, oh, it wasn't the nothing morally wrong was happening here. Like people, you know, people are affected by the things that happen to them, whether you see it or not. I mean, that part's true. So Activision Blizzard, ladies and gentlemen, back at it, back at it again with this nonsense, right? Um, Activision Blizzard, more details are out. Uh, you know, I talked about uh, a woman taking her own life, and I said, wow, that's connected to something happening in the real world. Do you see where I'm going here? Uh-huh. Act- Activision Blizzard. The harassment that uh, a woman endured doing her job working for this video game company was so severe that first off when she reported tried to report this to like hr and whatnot they were pretty much just like you know it's just boys being boys what are you talking about so this woman took her own life and it is like it is something that is known throughout the company that this woman took her her life and that is more than likely attached to the harassment that she suffered and you know, they try to sweep it under the rug, like, oh, zippity doo, uh, it's not that bad, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Activision Blizzard is facing a lot of scrutiny right now because um, tons and tons of stories like this are coming out, you know, where a, a, the, the culture of the uh, work environment was just not good for um, attractive women or not good for women in general. Like, it was like the boys' club, and it was one of those things where it's like, you know, Maybe we should just bully nerds uh, a little bit more again, because, you know, once they got a little bit of power, they, they just fucking lost their minds. And we were just like, hey, hey, Diane, why don't you get on the sleep and slide right now? Oh, like, no, like, it's like, bro, like Diane's coding. Like, what do you what do you know, nah, man? It's OK. And then he like grabs her butt and it's just like, hey, 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 yeah, you coming to the Christmas party? Like, like, no, dude, this is not your weird a uh, uh, sex comedy movie like this is definitely uh, real life, and people are affected by those things. And you thing, know, just like you, you can't fix this. Like, right? I, I don't. I'm not trying to, you know, spit up here some hyperbole here to exactly. It's going to take a, a long time to but fix like, that. But like, this isn't like a wound. This is like a cancer. Like, you have to cut out a lot of people. And the reason why I'm saying that is, I don't think you realize how deeply ingrained that. This is because there are people like Jesse McCree, who is a real person, by the way. You may be saying, wait a minute, that name sounds familiar. Yes. One of the people who was brought up in this lawsuit, one of the people who is actually part of the shit show circus over there at Blizzard, has a character named after him in Overwatch, Jesse McCree. There, There are some NPCs in WoW that share the name of some of the people who are on this list. Are you 
they did? They just took the NPCs out of the game and said, there you go, guys. Problem solved. The NPC is gone. Therefore, you can forget about all of this. What? <laughs> it's like, bro, if I come to you with a broken leg and you just you give me a sandwich, it's just like, all right, man, see, you'll be OK. Don't worry. Like, I, I'll fight you with the broken leg. <laughs> so, so some people may not know what exactly uh, is going on here, but a lot of women at Activision Blizzard have been being harassed and basically put into positions to where they feel like if I don't let them sexually harass me, I may not have a job in the morning. And there's a lot of, you know, let's be honest, people out there who have now caught wind of this and are understandably pissed off. So we're at a point now where it's like, all right, we'll see what's going on here. You know, they use the terminology like it's a frat boy culture and, you know, people are being problematic by, you know, just saying that, oh, yeah, you know, we can just touch on women and, you know, things that are spreading via word of mouth. And people are like, well, I don't really know. Uh, we got to see if there's more proof. And then, as you guys now know, there's the whole thing about Alex Afrasiavi, the man named specifically in the lawsuit, mm -hmm. and a longtime World of Warcraft developer, were aware that they had a, and I quote here, and I'm not even shitting you with this, the Cosby Suite. Now you may be saying, I'm, I'm, I beg your pardon. The, the what? The fuck are you talking about? The, the, the what suite? Well, apparently, it was a nickname for Afri Siavi's BlizzCon 2013 hotel room, and seemingly a reference to the previously convicted rapist Bill Cosby. Now I know what you're saying. Whoa, 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 whoa! This was back in BlizzCon 2013. There's no way that they would have had any knowledge of the wrongdoings of Bill Cosby. I don't know if you guys know this, but Bill Cosby has been getting a steady, steady stream of accusations since like 1965. Like, I'm not mm. even joking. Like, legit. Like, go look up his accusations. They started in the 60s, fam. A couple more in the 70s. Several more in the 90s. A couple more in the mid-2000s. And then you get to the point where you have comedians like Hannibal Burris, who's not an inside journalist. He's not someone who's got the inside scoop on everything that is happening down in Hollywood. He's just a comedian. And uh, yeah, he's making jokes about Quaaludes and some of the inner specifics of some of the accusations that have been alleged against him before then. So it's not like in that era, we didn't know that he was allegedly at the time involved in some sus behavior it was pretty much common knowledge you could call it one of those open secrets but it, we we all knew that something happened i'm not saying that we knew at the time he was guilty or not what i'm saying is the social stigma of cosby the assessment at that point was he may have done something with some quite loose as women that we can't really talk about Okay. But kids, what are you talking about? The people who were uh, involved in this said that it was not named after Bill Cosby for those allegations. Uh, the room was named after that because of the, uh, uh, you know, the famous uh, Cosby sweater. You know, uh, yeah, they were a fan of the Cosby sweater, even though the picture that's going around of them in the room next to a giant picture of Bill Cosby, by the way, uh, they are not wearing Cosby sweaters. Yeah, I was gonna so, say, if they were wearing Cosby sweaters, I mean, maybe maybe you have an out. I'd be like, yeah, you could, you, you could say something there, but no, they're all... Uh, ironically, just just wearing freaking uh, 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 like flannel shirts for the most part. And if any of you want to see the picture, I'll put it on screen. There it is. You you can see it. And obviously, some DMs and some text messages got leaked where they're like, they're, I mean, they're, they're saying some pretty shit, posty cringe shit. Like, I'm about yeah. to bring home some chicks. Yeah, bro, we could get them like drug. We're just, uh, we're just gonna rub our dicks all over. It's like you know, you know, stupid shit like that. And it's just like. This don't look good, man. This don't look good. And then you find out in the midst of all this, somebody, like as you said earlier, uh, took their life because they didn't feel safe. Now you have all these other women saying, well, there's all this other stuff that's happened, and it's not looking good for any of these people. And yeah. When, and if they are guilty of doing all this fuck shit, jail time. I, I now, hope this thing is on. Jail time. So, so far. With the whole Cosby suite thing, I, I know immediately people were going to think that maybe that was like, you know, that, that was the room where all the uh, 
uh, illegal activities were going down. They were like just sexually assaulting people in the room or whatever, or some nonsense like that, like an out of a law and order SVU episode. But so far there, there haven't been uh, reports that that that's the case with this room, that this was just like a hotel room for BlizzCon and like the, nothing to that level has happened yet. Uh, and that, you know, it was just like, like, cringy text messages like oh i'm bringing the strippers i'm bringing the chicks you know whatever but um you know we have yet to find out if that's true or not but so far there are no reports that that's the case but uh y- you know all these articles are gonna like make it seem like like these dudes are out here uh uh being like uh, full-time rapists and whatnot uh that hasn't been proven yet i haven't seen any reports that uh you know these dudes uh, did anything like that or even like brought employees to that room like like uh, female employees to that room to like har- harass them to that um, extent but still very very sus and it's very important to see like why would they name that 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 uh, the Cosby room and um, it just speaks to their thought process uh, during all this time of like what they thought they could get away with and I don't know how fucking stupid these people are like what <laughs> what the hell like, like why would you uh, if you even were doing stuff like that, why would you name it that? I feel like we I've said this before. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I think I think maybe this came up when we were talking about Horizon Zero Dawn and there was like something stupid like this, but yeah. Why would you why would you do that? It's like guilty right away. Like even if you're not guilty, you're naming it after Bill Cosby? Nah, man. Sorry. No, thank you. Like uh, uh now I'm uh, you're immediately someone that I'm going to like like look at. It's like one of those things where you're playing a stealth game uh, or you're playing Hitman, right? And you're amongst regular people and you're disguised, right? The moment I show up and like punch a person in the face, everyone's going to be like, oh my God, wait, ho- hold on. Uh, uh, that guy might be, you know, he might be an assassin or something. You're like, oh, no, I wasn't thinking about that before. I thought it was a regular guy, but now I got to look at this. Yeah, but you, Th- know, that's but, a- you, but you know what's wild? Last, what? w- last week, the president, you know, Alan, <laughs> Alan Brack said, hey guys. I believe that the allegations are troubling. That's the word he used in the email to the staff. Yeah. But, but he also ignored the fact that he was also named in it for allegedly failing to sanction Afrasiabi for sexually harassing female coworkers. Mm-hmm. Brack apparently also hosted a BlizzCon developer panel in 2010 alongside the aforementioned Afrasiabi and others in which Afrasiabi made sexist remarks to a fan in the audience who had questioned the Victoria's Secret catalog appearance in the World of Warcraft female's character. So, that, I don't know. It's a bunch of weirdos over there. I'll yeah. give it to you that way. It, it, it's just, I don't know, maybe bullying then, wasn't enough. And then you have uh, Joshua Mosquera, who's basically like, oh, he's one of the ex-Blizzard developers pictured in the above Cosby suite. Wrote in a medium post, I was unaware of Cosby's history at the time. Yep. Said it was about the sweaters. The sweaters? <laughs> Bro, they're not even that cool. The sweaters? I'm like, first of all, have you heard of an ugly Christmas sweater? You could have called it the Christmas sweater suite. Or you could have just not had a giant picture of Bill Cosby in there. It doesn't matter if this room is like, even if it's actually about the sweaters, it's just creepy. Like, look, if I'm if I'm anyone like, OK, let's say this is this is uh, just a bunch of people that I'm attracted to or whatever. And I walk into this room and I see a giant picture of Bill Cosby in there. I'm like, nah, man. All right. You all have a good night. I'm going home like this. This immediately gives me like, you know, like wrong turn type vibes. It's like, I don't know what you guys are into, but it's it's definitely not going to be something that's safe for me. I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going home. Goodbye. <laughs> It's like the hub got me. It's all right. <laughs> you be like, damn girl, you look cute. All right, all, you know, let me come over. You know, see, let me hit a little bit. You get in there, you see Bill Cosby. Hello, huh? Nah, I'm I'm leaving, dog. You got it. You're not gonna stay. Nah, you got Bill Cosby. You good? Like a room full of heter- heterosexual men. Uh, uh, if they had like a giant picture of like Carmen Electra or something like that, it'd be like, oh, these dudes are just, you know, maybe a little bit toxic or whatever, or a little bit misogynistic. But you got a picture of Bill Cosby. It's like, nah, they're into some weird shit. They might worship him. <laughs> they're probably going to put like pudding on me or something like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> like, there's pudding, n- absolutely no way. 
nah, man, you can go ahead and suck my pudding pop. All right, pal. It's like, all right. Well, it's like uh, that corniness has, has cost you the night. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, sir. <laughs> He's like, you better go hire an escort or something. Like, goodbye, like, sir. Like I said, it looks it, it looks like they're about to be down horrendous. And if they are convicted and it, it's true what they say, they do not settle for an apology from Blizzard, okay? The state of California is against him. But yeah. if they get past this without any sort of uh, um, reprimand, then I will I will lose my mind. Like, that's crazy. Like, something has got to happen here. Like, there's, it, it's the Cosby situation. Like, there are too many, like, reports of a similar thing happening for it to just not be, you know, true. And on top of that, uh, you have like other um, women who've worked in uh, in the industry, like uh, Alana Pierce, for example, who came out and basically talked about her uh, um, her experiences with uh, working in the industry and how these things happen to her as well. Like these types of things happen to her all the like a lot. Like she mentioned uh, specifically that there are situations where um, like she's she's at parties and like me- men have. Uh, have tried to kiss her. Some have actually like kissed her without her, her consent. You know, like uh, for example, one man tried to uh, uh, feed her alcohol through his mouth by walking up to her and like trying to kiss her. Like that sort of thing happened a lot. And uh, she dealt with that, that sort of thing. So you can't sit here and, and try to say, oh, maybe it's a sting against the company. Maybe it's a personal vendetta or something like that. Like, this just seems like this was like, the, this is the culture. And, you know, people are now hearing about it because, you know, if you don't work there, you don't know. You know, you can't know for sure. Unfortunately, like nobody was there with like a freaking camera because you're not going to think to film your, your work day. But, you know, Something has got to happen because it's not cool. It's not good. Um, and it, it's not going to like, okay. Okay. Let me, let me, peel, let me peel it back here. Let me, let me calm down a little bit here. Okay. All the, you know, all these jokes, right. Of like, oh, women, you know, they're not really a part of the game community. Gaming isn't really for girls because girls don't really like games and blah, 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 this and that. It's like, you know, this is like, Part of the reason why there are not that many women uh, uh, who historically have been a part of this, like because this they see industry, stories like this come out and don't nobody be getting punished. Nobody be yeah. like, else for this. Or they like personally have an experience where they deal with this, and they're just like, "Nah, I'm good. I'll just, I'll just stop playing games." Yeah, you know. But then, but then you have a woman in tech, and you know, she, you know, she lets some things slide. Oh, she's soft. She's too docile. She'll never make it. But you know what I'm saying? You turn it around and she, all of a sudden, she, you know, she starts cracking that whip. You know what I'm saying? She starts being firm in her decision making. All of a sudden, she's a bitch. She's a slave driver. Okay. We don't um, need somebody like that. So on, uh, on uh, a different podcast I listened to, um, a woman was talking about how she's reading a book uh, written by an Australian uh, woman who who has been in uh, Australian Parliament, uh, I think it's Parliament, for like a very long time. And she's talking about her experiences and uh, about how awful her experiences have been with like the men who work there and how it's like, you know, a boys club and all that same stuff. And uh, one specific event is that she, uh, you know, re- had recently had a baby. and she had to show up for uh for a vote on a certain piece of legislation like if she didn't show up uh her vote would not have been cast but she couldn't find anyone to watch her child so she went there she went you know to the uh, uh the court with her child to make this vote and her child was quiet like there was no like there was no noise from the sh- baby at all and someone went out of their way to fucking point out that there is someone in the room who does not belong, pointing at her child. And then her uh, her baby was forcibly removed from her, uh, from her hands, and like taken out, crying, causing a disturbance, everything, all because the baby was there, and because like you know, it's like oh, this woman brought a baby to our voting, and it's like okay, but she also isn't causing a disturbance. Um, there was also a moment. There wasn't a disturbance that you got up and said, "You there, right?" Rumors. There are also like your rumors that you know she had slept with uh, a, a bunch of like the men who worked there and whatnot, even though these were just rumors. Um, and it got to a point where she was literally like making a speech 
uh, at one point, and one of the men there was cl- like visibly drunk. And this was all okay. Nobody like said shit about this man visibly being drunk. And so uh, every time while she was talking, like he kept like naming the men that she had allegedly slept with to like harass her. And you know, uh, uh, she had to stop at one point and be like, "Why you got like like why why is he allowed to do this? Like like what is like can can you please stop like interrupting me while I'm trying to you know give my speech or whatever." And, you know, they're like, yes, yeah, sir, please, you know, you, you got to stop or whatever. And he kept going and he kept going and they just kind of were like, you know, hey, man, yeah, whatever, you know. And then she finally, like, you know, stood up and was just like, OK, like you're interrupting me, but maybe we should, like, not allow alcohol in here as well because like this man is clearly drunk and they're like hey, hey, hey whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, Wait, none of the on, none on, of on. nonsense so, so, we, so we turn it up at parliament <laughs> that's what i'm saying i'm like like apparently they had like parties and stuff where they were they were legitimately turning up at like at parliament and so some of these dudes are like clearly drunk and whatnot and it was just like how how are these things like you know how are they getting away with these things oh because you know it's it's a boys club and let they're like hey you know we're, we're we protect our own you know like, like that woman is not gonna stop us from doing whatever we want we got all the power you know all that kind of bullshit and it was it's, it's just like mind-boggling like first off why are you even threatened by like a woman like being there uh in the first place like she's she's not if she's just doing everything she's supposed to and what's like? Yeah, what's the you, problem? You, 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 you'd be shocked how fragile some of these male egos are. Like the insecurities uh, are staggered. Well, because they're taught that you know women shouldn't be there at all. So why is she here? Uh, she's emasculating me by existing, and it's like, all right, dude. Like, like, like all right, man. You, you got to relax a little bit. They only voted for her because of her titties. Yeah. yeah. And then some people who get salty try to spread that kind of rumor, like, oh, she's sleeping her way to the top. Tucker Carlson actually uh, uh, alluded to the same thing uh, when he made a comment about Kamala Harris last night, dude. Like, uh, uh, like Kamala Harris is the vice fucking president, and this dude is being disrespectful uh, to what, her. What, what did he say? Okay, um... Let me see if I can find the uh, exact wordage here. Um, but it was li- like he went in. He said a lot about um, that she doesn't even know how to pronounce her own name. And I'm like, bro, what? I was like, that's it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, that's a you thing. Like, what do you? Uh, it um, also said, hold on, I'm trying to find it. Uh All right, hold on. Uh, last so, like, I, last I heard, he said that she was a power hungry buffoon. I think that one's from like uh, a couple of weeks ago, or like a month months ago, or whatever. But um, he, all right, that that's right. Uh, he referred to her as Willie Brown's girlfriend, a person with no adult skills, a person who can't figure out how to pronounce her own first name. Like, that's the vice president, bro. Like, what? Do you, what like that? That's disrespectful, regardless. Yo, if he said that about like, if he said that about a man, black, white, Asian, whatever, hands. Hands would have been delivered to this man. Uh, hands were almost delivered to this man too. Like he has no fear. Someone actually came up to him in public recently. It was like, like, bro, you're trash. You know, they like said it in many other words, but they were pretty much like, yo, you're trash. You're awful. You know, you put all this propaganda, blah blah, right, blah hold whatever. On, hold on, hold on. So apparently, this is something that. Uh, I'm looking it up here. So this is uh, uh what's his name? Jesse Tucker Kelly. Carlson. There we oh. go. Jesse Kelly was on Tucker Carlson's show and Kelly said it's the same reason she cackles like a dead hyena every time she's uncom she's asked an uncomfortable question. 
It's the same reason why she started out her political career as Willie Brown's bratwurst bun. Kamala Harris will do anything to get ahead, he said. And then Tucker Carlson started laughing. So apparently that's what happened. Unless that's Tucker Carlson that... also then just echoed what Kelly said. This yeah. Is, this is from three weeks ago. Oh, that's old. This is this is uh, I'm sending you the new one right here. All right. Oh. See me to tell me there. He was talking about COVID stuff. Then he said all the things that I said. That's from his recent uh, rant about you know oh the the Biden administration is uh, uh, losing their minds. They're all lunatics. Blah blah blah. COVID. Yada yada. And it's like, bro. Ah. Ah, so instead of a Nickelodeon hit game show Double Dare, this man decided to double down. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, you know, hey, here we are. Like, just being that blatantly, like, disrespectful uh, uh, to the vice president, regardless of whether or not you like them, is is just ridiculous. And, like, being able to do that on your television show, on your news show, like, is absolutely ridiculous. The uh, the things that uh, that we can get away with because of, like, because of the, the, how we perceive certain things, it's just absolutely ridiculous. First off, the idea is that Kamala Harris slept with this man to uh, uh, to advance her career, and you know she would do anything to advance I mean, her I mean, career. To, I mean, to be fair, they 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 were dating. To be fair, that that is confirmed. Yeah, uh, it is confirmed that like you know they were dating, and so people try to make it seem like she slept with him for yes, career for purposes reason. and not for like you know romantic purposes, uh, which is that's dumb in and of itself. Also, but like the idea that her doing whatever possible to advance her career means that uh, uh, you know that, that it's demeaning for her, and that you know she's she's a, a certain type of like morally uh, 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 unkempt person, even though. Uh, uh, when you talk about someone like Tucker Carlson, they also mentioned that he's done, you know, whatever it is he could to advance his career as well to get to where he is. And it's like, okay, you say the same thing about two people, but you mean it but like one person in a positive light and the other person in a negative light. And that doesn't, it doesn't add up, doesn't track. But people gobble that shit up right now, which is stupid. It, it's man. stupid. Tucker Carlson is hemorrhoid prime, bro. Yeah, that dude. Don't pay attention to that guy. That guy's trash. And he's peddling Nazi propaganda. All right. So <laughs> whether or not he actually knows that he's peddling actual like Nazi propaganda, like like the like the white replacement theory. Like, come on, man. Like, don't don't. Come on, guys. <laughs> you, you have better things to do with your time. Um, Kamala Harris is the vice president. That's an amazing feet you know that's an amazing thing to achieve but because she's a woman uh a lot of people who don't agree with the biden administration for whatever reason will sit here and like just just make all these like misogynistic comments about her and whatnot and it's like you could talk about anything else you could talk about the fact that this woman literally uh, stood in the country was just like yeah don't come here <laughs> like, like I, I don't mind. You, like, you could, you could, uh, uh, you know, talk trash about that kind of thing all day. But there's no need to be like, oh, because she's a woman. You know how she got here. <laughs> and it's like, bro, you have a wife, and I'm sure your wife sucks your dick at some point in time, and you, I'm sure you like that. And if she doesn't, well, I'm sure you're salty about the fact that she doesn't do that. So do not act <laughs> like, do not act like a woman. Uh, uh, sucking a dick is suddenly a bad thing when you're out here. We we know we we know that that you guys are out here also in women's DMs. Like yo, come on, just just the tip, just put the tip in there, please, please. Like like like. Excuse, come excuse, on. excuse me, madam. Can you rate my sauces on a one to ten scale in your DMs? Exactly. Like <laughs> get out of here. Don't act like you like you guys think that that's a horrible thing. First off, if all women stop sucking dick today, men would lose their fucking. A lot of men would lose their fucking minds, especially those men. They would lose their fucking minds, and it would be it would be an awful it would be an it, awful it, fucking time. It would like, be bedlam. Everyone would be like, "What will I do now?" <laughs> So it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous that they try to take something that they love and they make it seem like, oh, it's terrible that she actually did that thing. Like, 
all right, bro. Like, what do you do with your wife when you're at home? You, you guys just read a book and then go to sleep all the time? Like, come on, man. You got kids. <laughs> you got kids. They got here somehow. Like, don't. That, that Naruto character will manifest themselves talking about saying, as soon as they say, we are no longer a sucking thing. All, that, all you're going to see is an orange hair dude pop up in the sky talking about something. <laughs> you will no pay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's a bad future right there, man. We don't want that. We don't want that. Not at all. Like, to close out this whole Activision Blizzard thing, look, you all have, at the very least, you have a mom. You, you may have an aunt. You may have, you know, sisters. You, you, uh, you have women who are in your life who are important. You have at least one woman who is responsible for you existing here. So how about you, uh, I don't know, don't use that as like a reason to insult people like oh she's a woman so it's different like it's not like just just fucking respect people bro also in a workplace like <laughs> be professional in the workplace man like what, what are you doing grabbing ass a, a, in the middle of the workplace like like you know a woman's trying to code or some shit like that you over here trying to like get a handful like like calm down the horny or go home take a take a break take a vacation like what the fuck <laughs> take a vacation I mean, amen, amen. Like, I, 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 look, I don't know what's going on over there. But here's the thing. Apparently, like, this has been going on for years, almost more than a decade plus. Right. And people, you know, are coming out saying, if I had only known, I'd have done so much more. And it's just like, sir, do you see all these emails? Do you see all these people reaching out to you, telling you the fuck shit was going on? And uh, what, what do you mean? Did you have conversations with these women that you were working with, sir? Or did you say, oh, I'm not touching that landmine, and you mm -hmm. uh, pressed marked as red? <laughs> oh, also, H the, whoever the HR person uh, or people were around these times should also, at the very least, get fired. Because, like, you didn't do your job. <laughs> so there are actual like accusations that you know that that person was reported to like someone someone came to them and was like, this is happening and this is not good. And that person was just kind of like, oh, oh, all right. Well then, that sucks. That sucks, but uh, it's beyond me. You got it. Excuse like, me. like uh, uh, you know, you're supposed to do more than that, right? <laughs> you know, you're supposed to regulate these things so these people don't feel emboldened enough to like do that, right? No, we talking about. I'm supposed to hear you out and just be like, "Nah, man, it's beyond me now." That's it. Oh, all right. Well, oh, sorry, I didn't know that was your job title. Well, I'll, I guess I'll find whoever is responsible for making sure that this doesn't happen again. Oh, we don't have those. <laughs> That's what it seems like is going on over there, Blizzard. I just don't know how. I, I, I look, man. Look, I don't understand how so many because it says many top development yeah, developers there, both current and former, are like in absolutely confusion and dismay and shock. And it's like I don't feel like a lot of y'all are shocked. I think y'all are more shocked that the lawsuit happened. Then shocked at the behavior that was uncovered in the lawsuit. Yeah. That's definitely what it seems like. Like, wow, they actually did it, huh? Wow. The whole state of California? Wow, y'all. Come on, man. It's not that serious, y'all. And it's like, yeah, it is, bro. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it is, sir. Once you say the words jail time, that <laughs> maybe then they'll like realize, you know, the weight of the situation, but. Because, Either way, look, I'm gonna just read you an excerpt here, right? During a company event, an annual convention called BlizzCon, Afri Asabi would hit on female employees, telling them he wanted to marry them, attempting to kiss them, and putting his arms around them. The complaint, okay. the complaint reads that this was in plain view of other male employees, including supervisors, who had to intervene and pull him off of the female employees. Oh, okay. Well, they did something. That's nice. Afri Siabi was also known to engage in harassment of females. That his uh, females in his suite that was nicknamed Cosmic Suite. Now, the funny thing about this, well, I wouldn't have said the funny thing, but the thing about this that I think really sticks out to me is he's doing this in front of people to the point to where men and women know that he's doing it, mm. and that man still got to come home to a check. Like, hello? Well, hey, man, maybe it's just the, the work part. You know, maybe some people get carried away and blah, 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 blah. That's probably the thought process there. Like, oh, he just got a little carried away. It won't happen again. He got warned. Uh, you know, we pulled him off. But I feel like, you know, at this point, it's, re it's repeatable. It's repeated behavior. And at this point, you got to start wondering, 
Because uh, one of the text messages, the man said, or one of the people in there was just like, listen here. Listen here, bro. You can't marry all the women. And the dude, and then I see, uh, hmm? <laughs> Af- Afrasiabi says, what are you talking about? I'm I'm Middle Eastern. I can marry them all. <laughs> wow. Now you're racist? <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no, no. He is Middle Eastern. Hey, yeah, I get that. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, he that was. Like, I, yeah, he's like, I can marry them all. <laughs> and then some other dude was like, I think you misspelled fuck. And I was like, oh, it's one of these, huh? Like, bro, you're not funny. Oh, that's another thing. Hey, some of you are just not funny. Stop it. Like, like just, just stop trying. After the first, like, 10 times, people are just not laughing. Like, just realize just you're up. not funny. Yeah, you're not funny. You just don't have to out, make Just jokes. pull out the old suitcase, pack it up, be like, I'm going to just be a, I'm gonna be a, a statistician. It's all about stats for me. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's where we that's where we are right now. And look, I know a lot of people saying you guys have to stop playing Blizzard games. And look, you have to stop giving Blizzard money. OK, yeah. Like whether you play the games or not, it's almost inconsequential. You got to stop giving them money. See, that, that, that that's the issue. Oh, we also have to mention that uh, uh, Activision Blizzard has, is looking to hire uh, union blockers now because of the uh, walkout that happened. You know, uh, so employees staged an actual like walkout. They're they're protesting this whole thing, and now they they're uh, trying to hire some union blockers to be like, "Oh, word, that's what y'all are gonna do? <laughs> we'll take care of you." It's like, all right, y'all are gonna lose some employ- some good employees then, because uh, that's like the wrong response to, "Hey, you guys are have been like harboring this very very like toxic culture that that's not very very good for." anyone who's who's involved here or here's anyone to, to work around but here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing right is this going to work out any better than the last than the last walkout because i think a lot of people forgot they also did right? walk out during the whole blitz chung thing i don't even remember a walkout during that yeah, but um blizzard employees staged a walkout two years ago to protest the ban of pro kong hong pro hong kong player and the uh the commentators that were also camped I remember Riot having a walkout for their, oh shit, Riot had similar accusations of like a toxic work environment. Wow. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, Riot had like a walkout for that too. And yeah, you're right. They're still around. Shit. I mean, they're, they're actually working on that. Uh, at that fighting game that's Le- the yeah. FGC. Yeah, that League of Legends fighting game, and you know, League of Legends is thriving. I mean, shit. Uh, and they also have the. They also uh, was it Wild Rift, uh, the mobile League of Legends game that came out. Damn, man, damn. What do you do? But yeah, like they they had a walkout, and it's like, all right, y'all basically got a day off because when y'all went back, Blizzard clearly has not changed their ways about a damn thing. Not a fucking thing. Well. To be fair, the the, the Blitz Chung thing was like, oh, Blizzard, stop, you know, uh, stop getting on your knees for China. How dare you? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, y- y'all know that they're not going to do that. All yeah, right. Yeah, they want money. That's, that's, what <laughs> but, that's what I was saying. When you guys but for this, out, you got a day off. For this, uh, there are things that can be done. It's like, hey, y'all, stop being trash at work. You could just, just go home and be trash, I don't know, to like the people once, that you're once, around once over again, there or whatever. Once again, you hope. That there, yep. that there is a learning curve. You hope that heads roll. You hope that they cut the cancerous people out of the fold 100% from top to bottom. These are all things that, unfortunately, we ha- we can't say that will happen. We have to say, we hope. Because we've yep. seen time and time again that even when some of these things go into legal battles in the courts, you might get some, and the rest of them just go, it's time to double down. And then no one comes forward for... Several years to come. We got to wait for another suicide or two to happen before we get quote unquote hardcore justice. Well, I so I think the suicide uh, is really going to push this towards being like something where the state of California is more likely to win because now they have like something specific that that's like, hey, um, you know, you you cause this. Like you're responsible for this. This person uh, uh, was an employee of yours, and there there's evidence that shows that this person did this because of how they were being treated over there. Which means it was very very awful, and things need to change. And like you know that 
it makes a more compelling case than just like, oh, uh, we have some people who may have complained here and there. And it's like, then you have to have like HR records and shit like that to like prove everything. And that gets messy and like very complicated, but like someone's life being taken away, like that, that's irrefutable right there. What, someone's going to argue that, that she just did that because of something completely different? Like, nah, I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. You hope. Yep. That's all we can do now. That, that's all we can do. I mean, like, the protests are, you know, like, they, p- these people want to do something. And I understand that. I, I don't know if they're going to be as effective. But you hope that change will happen and that, you know, things will get better. Or you hope that, you know, everybody just just leaves and Activision just uh, goes under because they can't hire people anymore because people are like, I don't want to work there. That's that horrible place, you know, or whatever. And then they, uh, I don't know, they, they're they gone. And then it's like, uh, oh, no, Overwatch 2 didn't happen. And then you have, like, those weird nerds who are going to be like, I didn't get to see my new Tracer skin. <laughs> Well that's, well, that's the thing that we were coming up with, like, a meme. It's like, so what do you think Blizzard's going to, like, try to do to, like, compensate? Like, are they just going <laughs> to randomly be like, and this character from hit game Overwatch is part of the LGBT community. Woo! Representation, yeah! Or you think they're going to announce a new female hero and be like, yeah, she's a badass because... Girls, get it done. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like what are we going to do? Because I remember the, one of the last times, like, it was like, these, you know, they had accusations and things of that nature coming out about them, and they were like, Soldier 76 is gay. And it was like, hmm? What? It seemed a little bit out of left field, but, like... Yeah. you just throwing out there because uh, y'all are getting clapped up behind the scenes? Like, what's going on here? It was very strange. Like, it was very strange, and then people started making their weird fan fictions about him and the and the kid that's in his, like, story video, and it's like, alright, bro. Like, y'all gotta relax. Like, like come on now. Yeah. It's like it was like the Dumbledore being gay thing, and it's like okay, that's cool, but like that, like that doesn't really affect anything. <laughs> it's like it, 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 he could be gay, straight, it, pan. Like it wouldn't like you wouldn't see anything related to that uh, in the, what you've seen of the character so far. So it's like it doesn't really change anything, and it shouldn't change anything. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> They're like, oh, but see, he's gay. Isn't that cool? It's like, um, see here, mister. We, we, we understand exactly what you did. So like, we're, we're not just going to forget because you, you, you got a, another gay person in your game. And then we got, we got, uh, uh, what is it? Um, uh, Symmetra being autistic. Oh no. Oh no. All right, bro. Well, here's the thing. Like, I'm all for representation. Like I, I always, honestly feel like we need more of it, but like not like this. Don't don't have it just be. Oh, we added representation because uh, we're raping people over here. We just figured we wanted something to cushion the blow. All right, that that's not what we need. That, that's 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 not what we need. I, I we shouldn't have to have people getting diddled, raped, abused, committing suicide for me to get characters that are you know. Got the melanin in their skin and look like me. All right, we we that should not be part of the deal. That is not what the Full Metal Alchemist equivalent exchange principle is all about. Right. Like, uh, how about you just hire people who are not going to be shit lords, and also you make sure that people who are higher up, uh, I don't know, you you got responsible people up there who are like, hey, how about you stop like harassing those women, or like, hey, how about you? Uh, uh, take this uh, this seminar here. They'll teach you how to be respectful of all your coworkers because you're not supposed to be playing grab ass in the office, buddy. And by the way, if you can't comply with any of this, you're fired. Yeah, how about that too? Like, hey, if you if you for some reason cannot live without doing these things, then uh, how about you find a job somewhere else? Consequences for one's actions, but like maybe David Cage will hire you. <laughs> with that being said, uh, I think we're gonna. Call it a cast here. Episode 44 was definitely one for the ages. Uh, I'm interested to see where this uh, Blizzard thing is going to go. Because Blizzard... Yeah. If it, it seems like every eight, nine months, Blizzard finds some way to monumentally screw the pooch. Because keep in mind, 2018 was the whole year where we had to deal with the nonsense of, don't you guys have phones? 
Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. They're like, a mobile guy. We don't give a fuck about the mobile. Hey, don't you guys have phones? Like, ah. <laughs> uh. Well, see, there you go. That was supposed to be our like little teaser on how the people who work there are completely out of touch with society. <laughs> don't you guys have phones? Hey, man. Hey, hey. Don't you guys have common sense? And we'll see you next week. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys take care of yourselves. And uh, watch this Blizzard stuff because uh, more is coming. More is definitely coming. Yep. It, uh, I'm telling you, somehow they're going to be on the docket next week. I feel it. I feel it too. I feel like we're gonna go off air. Friday's gonna hit, and they're gonna. There's something wild's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh my god, man! Jumps off the, the off the Blizzard <laughs> building, and he's just like, "Oh no!" <laughs> man, Swanton's bombs onto Pike. All right, man. GGS, just GGS. Yeah, we'll catch you next time. Y'all be safe, and we're out.